buck. You really put yourself out there. Can't thank you enough. What we do, right? Yeah. Hey, uh, if you ever find yourself in L.A., we, we should get together. Sure. I got to mention, though, I already have a boyfriend, and it's pretty serious, so, uh... But it was really nice meeting you, man. Take care. Uh, oh, Good working with you, man. Great working with you, too. So, 911, why won't you let Buck be bisexual? I'm serious. Like, there's these, these, there's just so many little moments that hint at him being a queer guy. Just a guy who just happens to like other guys. And at this point, it's rather frustrating that they're not letting it happen. When this moment in the 911 slash 911 Lone Star crossover happened, there was a feeling in my stomach. A feeling of excitement and nervousness and something else. I can't quite place it. It was like there was this hope for a moment that I thought, whoa, are we actually getting a bisexual buck storyline this season? Are, are they going to confirm this? But I don't have any hope. I don't. I, I need to, like, stop thinking that any character I think is going to be queer is going to end up being queer. It's got to stop. The fandom's whole, like, reaction with Buck's bisexuality possibly happening, even the less likely possibility of him ending up with Hetty, the fandom is split in two on this because one half of the fandom is extremely excited and they believe that it's going to happen. And the other half is extremely jaded, because we're all former fans of Supernatural. And if you've been on my channel for more than five minutes, you'll probably notice that I am a former fan of Supernatural, so guess which half I'm in? But this is also a problem with a lot of television in that they will constantly make reference to a character possibly being queer, and then not set it up. Uh, my three favorite examples of, like, bi guys who should be bi are Styles from Teen Wolf, who if you've watched Teen Wolf, you're like, yeah, yeah, that, that guy should have been bi. I don't care if he does end up with Lydia, he should have been bi. Dean Winchester, which, <laughs> no, it is not just because I ship him with Castiel, because 80% of the reason that I want him to be bi doesn't even involve Cass. <laughs> That's a lie, it's only about 50%. <laughs> And then Nate from Legends of Tomorrow, who I mostly don't even really hardcore ship him with anyone, so honestly, this is the most genuine form of, man, he should be bi. <laughs> honestly, I could do a full, full essay on ambiguously bi, and one day, one day I will. But not right now. Right now, I need to talk about my boy Buck. And the writer's fear of him being bi. I'm just confused as to why 911 wouldn't let this character that everyone thinks might be queer be queer. Just let it happen. Not much of the show really has to change in order for Buck to be bi. You don't even need to change anything about his character except for now his Tinder is also filled with guys. And before anyone in the comments goes, oh, you just want him with Eddie. First of all, yes, I do want him with Eddie, but like we're at a point where I don't even care right now if he does end up with Eddie as long as he's confirmed bi. That is when you know you want a character to be queer, when you stop thinking about your ship when it comes to their queerness. Like like I said, the three boys from before, but another example I have is Zari from Legends of Tomorrow. Do I care if she ends up with Charlie? No. Do I care if she ends up with Amaya? No. Well, yes. But I don't, I, I, I would have just wanted her to be queer instead of, you know, straight, which it's so upsetting that she was so very very upsetting. Well, yes, I do ship Buck and Eddie. Buck ending up with Eddie really isn't my end goal here because Buck is such a quintessential example of that ambiguously bi trope and them never going through with it that I really do just want him to be openly bi. This is also not the first time that he's been mistaken for queer or people make like comments to him and he's never like, oh, I'm straight. The first time is actually by his sister Maddie when she's like, oh, you have a crush on Eddie. And he's like, oh, cute. He's never like, he wasn't like, no, it's a no homo thing, bro. The second time is when someone mistakes Eddie and Buck as a couple and assumes they're both Christopher's father, even though it's only just Eddie. And instead of Buck being like, oh, no, I'm just a friend. He just gives them this face and says thank you. So 
Oy. And then the third time, this happens almost once per season. The third time is when Maddie and Chimney have Josh and Buck over for a game night and Josh makes a comment about how, oh, it almost would be like you guys were setting us up. And instead of them being like, oh no, Buck's straight, you wouldn't want to be with him. Maddie goes, no, my brother is awful, you wouldn't want to be with him. And Buck is never like, no, I'm straight, I wouldn't be with you. It's just, they, they skirt around the fact that Buck is... They never clearly say, no, I'm not into that. They just skirt around it instead of letting it happen naturally. Instead, so, so it's, 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 just, it's just right there, right there, this magical, ambiguously by zone that I hate so much. Yeah, and fourth one you've already seen at the beginning where TK assumes that Buck was hitting on him. The openly gay character from 911 Lone Star thought this guy was into him, and uh, it's been established that TK has a pretty good gaydar, so uh, yeah, him thinking Buck is queer. No, that, that means nothing. Nothing at all. And I'm wondering if the reason they haven't made Buck bisexual is because Ryan Murphy does not have the best track with bisexual characters. <sighs> So if Ryan Murphy is a biphobe and he just doesn't want to have bisexual characters on screen unless they're shown negatively, which he has done before, including in 911, then yeah, no, that that would that would extremely suck and I would really hate that because guess what? Bisexual people are real and valid and they deserve to have bisexual representation, especially dudes. Because honestly, we should just let more dudes be bi. Yes, I am stealing that from Eleanor from The Good Place. Just let guys be bi. On screen. Whatever. Seriously. Ah. Uh, the way shows show female and male bisexuality is actually really frustrating and interesting in terms of differences. I could go on and on about that. Honestly, I'm probably going to do like entire videos on like comparing the way like queer female sexuality and queer male sexuality is shown on screen because honestly there is some major differences especially from show to show or movie to movie like it's interesting and by interesting sometimes i just mean like devastating and annoying so uh at the end of the day 911 let buck be by maybe just tell her that you're gay i'm not gay fine bye i'm not bi either why not more guys should be bi. It's 2018. It's like, get over yourself.